Hi everyone, welcome back to Crochet Box. Tracy here and this is another open with me. And this one is for the Simply Knitting magazine. And um, while I'm getting into this, if you haven't already, don't forget to hit the subscribe button and the notification bell. And you hopefully get informed when new videos pop up. Right, we are in. Oh, those are quite snazzy. So we have a birder knitting and we also have some buttons. They're quite cute. Add charming detail with pretty fasteners. Wooden floral buttons. They are pretty. I like those. So we'll put birder to one side and oh look, I've got another one of those. I had one in my crochet book the other day. And do I want a stair lift? <clears throat> I don't have any stairs, so no. Okay, so we'll put the gifts to one side and we'll have a little look at the Simply Knitting magazine. So, what have we got in there? Let's see. Okay, best knits for summer. Uh, 387 designs and ideas. Obviously not in this book, so that's probably somewhere you've got to go for it. An exclusive Rowan jumper pattern. Quite a nice jumper, actually. I quite like that. Um, and we've got fun kids knits, playful and practical. Knit for keeps, bags of styles. So we've got a bag, we've got cardigan. This is quite a nice pullover. I like the sleeve length. And we've got a tea cosy. And we've got a young man shine like a superstar. Uh, yeah, okay. Plus mini masterclasses, fab prizes, fun puzzles. And let's have a look, shall we? There's the hello page. And here's the content. So most of this we've seen already. Um, cushion cover. I've got to make some of those actually. So this is kind of a chair back, but it looks like a backpack, is it? It's got to be a backpack. Put on the back of a chair, I would say. And we've got some, a koala. I guess that's a monkey. Don't know really what it's for. Maybe a napkin ring, um, you know, like when you've got a napkin at the table, possibly. <laughs> got a scarf and stuff to win. Okay, there's, oh, there's more besides, but let's get in. So we've got the floral buttons, bird and mag and toy book PDF. Toy book PDF. Okay, so that really, I suppose, does account for this. Uh, 387 designs and ideas must include the toy book PDF wish list. So this is my superhero. That's quite jazzy, isn't it? We've got stars. We've got, well, bright colours. It's kind of cute. I do like the llama, I have to say. Not in here, though. That's £15 Anyway, I could stock that if I wanted to in my shop, which is hobbyrocks.co.uk. There's a link in the description box and some voucher codes, which you can use one or the other, um, just under the video. So, yeah, I could stock that. Um, I haven't bought any more crochet kits. I've got quite a few at the moment. So um, I'm waiting. So we've got some books. <coughs> Nin, I thought that said ninja. <laughs> and I've got glasses on. Can't believe it. Nina's favourite mittens and socks from around Norway. E oh, how much is that? That's £22.95. Whoa, that's a quite an expensive book. Easy Knitting for Beginners at £14.99. Dyeing Yarn Naturally at £12.99. So if you're interested in learning how to dye yarn naturally, then that might be a good book. Okay, um, these are all the... Bits and bobs and where to find them page. Sort of. Um, guide to November. So this is what's out and about. November. Oh my God. I'm talking about November already. Okay. So on the 2nd and the 5th of November is the Creative Craft Show. Um, and that's in Birmingham. Uh, 4th and 5th again, Stitch Fest in Newton Abbott. 12th of November. Gloucestershire, we've got Arm Knitting Workshop. Set you about uh, £75 to £95, that one. Well, hey, not cheap, Arm Knitting. The Knitting and Stitching Show, mind you, it might include your yarn. 
perhaps. Um, anyway, um, that's in Harrogate on the 16th and 19th of November and Yorkshire Yarn Fest at uh, York, Flaxton in York, 25th of November. So this is Wonderball Special. Rico Wonderball Special. So um, is that going to give us a pattern? No, not that special then. Teal Appeal. Funny thing is, um, I've been seeing a lot of teal around lately and not necessarily because it's the colour of the time, but I started watching Snowpiercer again and there's a heavy kind of accent on the teal in that, but um, I wanted to catch it up with it again before they make a new one, if they do do the new one. Okay, so this is nice though. This is Summer Cotton Mix Tunic by Pat Mencini. It is nice. I like the detail on the back as well as the detail on the front. It's identical. And the sleeves are a good length. Whether I like them that puffy or not, I don't know. But yeah, probably be okay as they're up there. I'm not really keen on um, long puffy sleeves or any kind of baggy sleeve. But that, they're quite nice. I like those. Where's the sizey thing? Did I go past it? Yeah, it's up there. It goes from a size 6 to 8 up to a 26, 28. Remember, those are UK sizes. So that's um, probably a real tiny, small, extra small, up to like an XXXXL. Okay, sitting pretty. This is the chair. I quite like this. I need to make some cushions, but if I'm going to do cushions, I'm going to make memory foam. Um, and I do have one already that I made. But I think I need to redo it because as I've sat on it and sat on it and sat on it, it's kind of got a bit baggy, the um, the cover. And it is quite a fat cover cushion, which isn't a bad thing. Anyway, that's this one. And it's kind of done in kind of like a box um, advert. Stay in touch. This is where you kind of send stuff in. Uh What's your favourite podcast to listen to? I get confused by people calling things like a podcast. Like if I make my vlog, people think of it as a podcast. But an actual podcast is just something you listen to. There's no video. So this is called Starry Night. That's, that's pretty cool. I like that. That's very nice. Very nice. So let's see what sizes we've got. We have one to two years up to eight to nine years. So that's quite cool. Lots of, um, and the back's nice. Back's different. I guess you don't have to do it like that. You can make it plain if you want to. But there's a chart. You know what I think, I love a chart. You know who's gonna say it. Okay, so this is Get a Starcraft Yarn Bundle when you subscribe. Now I do stock this batik swirl. Some of it is getting very low though. I haven't uh, reordered it in a while. So you've got three easy ways to subscribe there if you want to, if you should want to. But um, it is lovely yarn, beautiful yarn, I have to say. The festival is really an insight into me and my brain. Is it? Carry On Crafting Festival, she's talking about. Provides a crafting field where you can buy lots of handmade crafts, kits and supplies, as well as watch demos, uh, take workshops and soak in the creative atmosphere. That sounds fantastic, doesn't it? So when's that? Let's see. The sun's just gone in and made it dark. So um, this year's event takes place on the 8th to 9th of July and the 2nd and 3rd of December. Um, there you go. Just go there and you'll find out more about tickets. Thought I had a delivery come in then. This is called On The Bias. In other words, wonky. Nice little wonky kind of... Is it a scarf? I think it's a scarf. Yep, by Carol Meldrum. At least I've got some names I can pronounce on these particular um, patterns is the word I'm looking for. So this is called Berry Beautiful. So this is another tea cosy, bit jazzy for my liking, but, you know, very country fidey. rest is just adverts on the other pages. Out and about. So where are we today in North? Nottinghamshire, sorry, I've got, like I said, it, the sun went in. It got a bit dingy. 
Oh, right. So take a trip with us around the UK and discover some of the best and quirkiest yarn shops and visit each one packed with knitspiration. Well, a bit, bit long to read and look at that. So what's this? Just for you, vouchers and competitions. So this is called Go For Gold. Reminds me of a TV show that my son Paul used to love when he was a child. Yep, and this one goes in sizes 8 to 10 up to a 28 to 30. And no, that's UK sizes again. Quite a lot of you can use your buttons on this one, if you wanted to, but I can see that you don't have to. They've also shown you with normal buttons. So, advert for free issues from just five pounds. But um, simply knitting is nine ninety nine for three issues. If you want to give it a little go, there's the how to get your hands on it bit. So this is a bag now called Blue Skies, and it's got that kind of fat handle. You know, fat crocheted, no, knitted handle. Not crocheted, what am I talking about? It's knitted. It's simply knitting, Tracy. But it is pretty, because it, it's lacy, it looks a bit crocheted, doesn't it? That's why. Anyway, I'm just looking to see um, well, how the pattern works up. Quite easy, really. Lend a hand, what's this? Um, kind of knitting cupcakes. Now this is a wild thing. Yeah, packing up for school delivers maximum excitement with our cute elephant backpack. So it is a backpack. It kind of threw me there being on the back of a chair, but it is a backpack. And there it, you can see it's like a drawstring at the top. And it's cute an elephant. I think Harley, no, Tyler, had an elephant backpack that wasn't, wasn't knitted. But um, he did have one, <clears throat> as I remember. Uh, this is all the community stuff. And British milk sheep. So this is the sheep showcase. Look at sheep. Right, this is a coral, cool in coral by Sean Brown. Um, very bobbly and very kind of, I always say this kind of design seems to be like romantic. You know what I mean? Like that kind of soft, girly stuff. Anyway. Knitting know-how, a German short rose. The cutest cacti. So we've got the how to doy bits, slipping heel stitches and all that stuff. And this is a little bit on the end here by Debbie Bliss, the did you know sort of thing. Hey, the bit I like. <laughs> I do like the, the, the fun page, I really do. A bit of Sudoku and a little crossword. Kind of makes the day go by. And we've got Treasure Island. This is nice. This is kind of cool for a little boy. Well, let's not be sexist. Girls can play with ships. Boys can play with whatever they like. Okay, treasure chest. So that's all the how to do bits. This is the one I like, actually. It's called Jolly Cotton. Effortlessly stylish, classic and simple. That's a lot, isn't it? Um... Stripey jumper, one of the coolest things you'll wear all summer by Kim Hargreaves. So the personal choice for me, I would make it longer. It needs to hide this part of my body. It's, you know, kind of come down to there and I'd be happy. But the sleeves are not overly technical. I like the kind of, and you could finish them. You could have three quarter length sleeves if you really wanted. But the neckline is not strangulation. But this is from Rowan. So, well, Rowan and Kim Hargreaves, anyway. What sizes have we got in this one? There we go. Um, four to six. Up to what? Uh, can't see it. It's too... Why do they do that? Why don't they just... You need contrast, you know. I know they want to make all these different colours so that you can follow your pattern size. But for goodness sake. So that's 28 to 30. That's a 32 to 34, so it's got to be 36 to 38. Honestly. Just, you know, if you're going to have those colours, have it on a white background. Just, you know, give me a break here. Got to see it. Okay. So that's the end of that one. Pretty in pink. So we've got, weirdly enough, this looks like all the same kind of pink yarn that we had in the other magazine, but it isn't. Just pink again. 
Um, King Cole cotton socks, four ninety nine. It's a four ply. World of wool, mind you, sock yarn usually is. Um, this is called Isle. Um, actually, four ply stroke Aaron. That's a weird kind of combination. How can it be four ply stroke Aaron? That doesn't make any sense to me at all. Anyway, um, where's the price of that? Can't see it. Oh, there we go. Six pounds thirty. No. Yeah, six eighty four. Okay, so we've got Debbie Bliss, super chunky merino, and that's nine pound forty nine for a hundred gram. And Rowan Four Seasons, four pound fifty for a fifty gram ball. Rowan usually is a bit on the more expensive side. Cascade Yarns Heritage Six, ten pound, will set you back for a hundred grams. And then Rico Essentials Organic Cotton, two ninety five for a fifty gram ball. So there you are. In the jungle, in the mighty jungle, help teething tots are the teething rings. But I thought, you know, as it was on a table, looked like a placemat, it might be napkin rings. I suppose you could use them for that if you wanted. But yeah, teething rings, and there they are. We've got a koala and a, I think it's a monkey. Yep, monkey. I identified it, wow. We have improvement, guys. Okay, that's the USA offer, if you're interested. Now we've got the how to knit bits and the abbreviations and the charty doodads. Next issue, <clears throat> got a very colourful kind of jazzy jumper, fair eye one. What have we got then? Cropped fair eye, which is that one. Rowan exclusive lace tunic. Can't see that, so... Maybe not a picture. Ewan the sheep. Anyone spot Ewan here? No. Don't think that's a sheep. Um, Shire horse. Gary likes a Shire horse. Birdhouse bunting. Um, can't see that either. Monochrome chevron mittens. Nope. Uh, basket weave phone case. Mm, nope. And so much more. Okay, so we've got vintage style wooden hanger. I guess that comes free then maybe, or you have to send off for it. And you can make wall hangings. The only one I'd make is these sort, where you can store stuff. That's a good idea. But other than that, wall hangings and me don't really go together. We've got cushions, we've got a big throw. We've got dungarees that are cute. We've got this cute chap on the jumper. We've got a ghost um, and men's tank top and all that stuff. Well, there you go, that's what's coming up. So this one's called Dinner Time and it is a placemat. Just a little extra one at the end. So that's the magazine. I've already seen the buttons, which are pretty cool. Incidentally, when people order from me, um, from hobbyvox.co.uk, quite often these freebies that I get end up in the orders um, because, you know, I, I used to keep them and think, I'll use them one day, and I don't. So um, as I get these bits and bobs in my magazines, unless it's something with bag puss on, then um, I tend to give it away on the odd occasion. If it's cat, I won't, but, you know, just saying. Autumn Delights, Colour and Creativity, Birder Knitting. Autumn, oh my God, it's only just started getting warm here. I guess they have to be ahead of time. Eight stylish accessories, colour and creativity. Let's have a look. There's lots of brown going on. Well, that's very, um, wow, isn't it? Very, very wow. Hang on, let's move that advert out of the way. And this page, we've got, they're a bit small, the thumbnails, to actually see them. So we'll, we'll see them as they come along, I think. Let's move this over. That's it. <clears throat> there we go. So we've got outdoor living. So this is a kind of a coat uh, with diamond pattern. I'm just seeing if it's got um, a designer that's kind of named, but I can't see it. And then we've got, oh, that's nice, isn't it? Mittens and a scarf. I've got flying in now. I don't know how that got in. A boucle jacket. I like that. I do. 
Sleeves are a bit baggy though. Kind of look like they've hiked up a bit. But I do like it. Goes nice with the beret. Knitting in no time, slow fashion made fast. So we've got like a, a ribbed hat. And a very long scarf reminded me of past Doctor Who's. If you're in the UK, you might know what I'm talking about. Outdoor living, that's a nice pullover, I have to say. Sweater with fair isle pattern. And then we've got this kind of more slouchy hat, but I like the front. It's different, isn't it? Can you see it? It's kind of got a different front to it. Almost looks like a turban, but not. That's unusual. Quite like that. That's what it looks like from the back. And then we've got a bag. That's not too bad. It's quite nice, actually. And this pullover, which is very... Looks very intricate, doesn't it? A, a sweater with patterned yoke. Not just a yoke. It's halfway down the back. But very pretty, nonetheless. And then we've got another one, another... Scarf looks very chunky and warm. Super easy, that one. This one is soft and stylish poncho with cables. Can't really see it with it all being squashed up like that. I had a jumper very similar to that when I was younger. I tried to, uh, I think it was pink. Very nice. And then this one is a kind of like an, a chest warmer, as my mother would have called it. But yeah, shoulder warmer. My shoulders are not often the thing that is warm in, just saying. Soft and stylish as well. The uh, loose fitting sweater, not my cup of tea this, because, you know, that's not the sleeve there. That's the sweater. It's just enormously wide with enormously wide. That is a bit too much for me, that. Um, and then we've got this one, which is a chunky kind of rib one. And then this one. And that's kind of nice. Not long enough for me, but not much is. And then we've got all the how to do bits from there to there. And then I guess, no, there's not really many, but we've got a few charts at the end with the other things. So that's the birder. And there's all the ads. Let's get rid of those. Don't want a stair lift. Well, oh, I heard stairs, but I don't. Anyway, there we go. What do you think? Are you impressed with this one? What is it you like in this? What don't you like? Do you think it's a bit of a, a hit or a miss this particular month? I quite like some of them, I have to say. I liked the um, the little toys and I liked this pullover. It's kind of more my sort of scene. I like this one. I do. I actually quite like that as well. Um, yeah, quite a few things in there that I liked. Um... And like I said, if you order from me very soon, you might get those buttons because I can't see myself using them. So, yeah, that's the uh, Simply Knitting this month. Um, thank you for watching and um, let me know what you think and I'll see you on the next one. Bye for now.